the name. Okay. going on it is sketchy live monday. monday i am johnny jalopy and with me as always the super talented the beautiful the sexy the vivacious the lovely the talented did i say talented twice i think so uh itty b what's going on hey guys it is um october 4th or as i like to call it <laughs> 10 for good the buddy. whole purpose of this Ten whole thing good buddy oh let me get my, have to celebrate it let me get my mic set up here Oh. A little better because I took it off. Like it up. To switch chairs. Um, sound check. If anybody could verify, we've got good sound. You can yeah, hear us. Let us know. Because uh, that's the most important thing is that you can hear us, and the second most important thing is that you can see us. Right. So, uh, welcome to Monday Night Sketchy. We get together every Monday night at nine thirty. Uh, every Monday, pretty much ninety-five percent of the time. We can, uh, we can. Itty B and I will get together. We'll talk about different things tonight. We're talking about scary movies halloween edb's favorite time of the year um yeah so uh as you can see behind us the house is completely decorated there's not a square inch left anywhere that could have another skull or another pumpkin maybe a witch somewhere but i'm sure there's room there's room there's always room at the end there is right um, so tonight, Johnny is drawing the semi truck from a movie that I have never seen. You might. I wonder if you have seen it because for a second I was like, I don't think I've seen it. And then I went back and I watched a little bit of the trailers and some stuff like that. And I was like, oh yeah, I watched this. Yeah, I don't. Think it's it's not, it's, it's really it's funny. I love. You, I got to show you after we're done the Stephen King trailer because this was Stephen King's first attempt at directing. Oh. And his whole thing is he goes into the audience on the trailer and says, a Stephen King movie finally done by Stephen King. What is that supposed to mean? A director fitting for a Stephen King movie. He felt his adaptation, people who directed and done movies of, of his books, adaptations of his stories, never did it justice. Oh, so so he, was gonna, he was going to come in and he was going to tell his story, uh, Maximum Overdrive, the Stephen King way. Mm, so, okay. He might want to go to the camera and show show what we got here. So we got a All little right. light pre sketch uh, of the vehicle. Uh, we might do. We may do another giveaway tonight because I have a really great trivia question, oh. and I don't know if people will know or don't. Maybe they're fans of the film, okay. a fof, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> a fan of film. Well, a fan of this film, so. Okay. So the that's the, gonna be a tough one because yeah. So anyways, oh Lizzie said she loves this movie. So oh great, I guess somebody is. So it. maybe so maybe Lizzie can be the one who wins the prize. We shall. Think. So we'll see what happens. So anyways, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna try to do this one in a more dark theme. I can't. In fact, let me get let me get my background set as a dark color because I plan to do this very very dark. But okay. in the initial part, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get away with doing it so dark. Um, but 
but we're going to try. So I said to Johnny, do you have something already planned to draw? And apparently he did and was upset because I said, you have to do something with a CB in it for 10-4. He said, what are you talking about? I said, right. today is October 4th, 10-4, good buddy. And we've already done Smokey and the Bandit. So he's like, there really aren't any other cars necessarily. I mean, there there CBs are. That are. Well, you wanted like a CB movie. And I'm like, yeah. And there's really not a full devoted movie to just CB radios. Um, only my entire junior year. Well, I didn't say, we said movie, not right. life. Right. Unless you're saying your so, your life was like a movie. Yeah. Anyway, so here we go. We're getting into it. So wrong color. Um, I whoops. Yeah. So we are doing a Halloween themed. I don't know. Just what happened. CB movie truck. So that's what we're doing. Um, and tonight is season four, episode thirty-five. By the way. If you're wondering, if you're keeping score, yeah. if you're keeping score at home, let me tell you who we've got on the broadcast. Who do we got? And our and again, did we get a verification? That yes, sound, sound they say. Okay, is we're okay. already we're already in the weeds. What are you doing? I can't. I'm having troubles. There we go. Let's try this one more time. Okay. Ah, okay. There's a bit of a glare on your screen. Well, I can't do anything about that. Okay. So, okay. it may have to do. I mean, we are under this. I'm using a dark color right now. So, and we're using a different. Camera. So, maybe I don't do such a dark color. How's that? Is that a little better? Again, you're looking from a very far distance because you're looking at two shot, not the single shot. The single shot is going to look worse. So, it is what it is. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it on here for you so you can watch him draw a close up. Let me tell you who's on tonight. Let's do that. Um, we have Bob McLaren joining us from the 51st state. Nice. Southern New Jersey. Oh, that's right. Yep. Um, Draco said we're early tonight. Actually, we were, we were pretty well on time tonight. So that's exciting. Paul Marziani is joining us. Of course, Lizzie Daughtry is joining us. Um, Paul said the sound that it sounds great. Howard Pierpont says sound. Um, he said 68 and clear in the Greeley isolation chamber. Yes, um, Howard Howard Pierpont, Pierpont is currently um, battling the COVID. So let's keep him in our prayers, guys. And Absolutely. He, he's in uh, lockdown right now. He will not. He's not battling because he's already won. That's right. Victorious already. The victory is already won for you, Howard. That's, That's right. Our Claim it. Um, Alicia Allen is joining us. Hi, hi everyone. Happy Halloween. Welcome. Yeah, so we're trying to do a little more of a Halloween-themed, another Halloween-themed sketch. So tell them a little bit. This is, because uh, yeah, okay, I didn't going. see the movie, but apparently on the front of this semi-truck is a giant clown face, which I thought. It's actually not a clown face. Oh, what is it? It's the Green Goblin Oh, so from Spider-Man. Okay. Really? They yeah. Incorporated that, and they're allowed to do yep, that. Yep, they did. Intermixed Stephen movies. King. I guess he could do whatever he wants. So the idea is that this is a toy store uh, vehicle, and the premise is that you know they chose the Green Goblin as the scary thing they would put on the front of the truck hmm. for their toy store. In this to this tortured people. Now remember, now what I will tell you is this truck had the Green Goblin face on it before the trucks and stuff went crazy. Okay. Unless so it was a I hate to ruin the movie for anybody who's never seen it. It was a truck designed for good, not evil. And then it turned. Well, out. maybe I don't know. It's Stephen King, so is anything really designed for good? Well, in the beginning, it could have given the semblance of being good. Um, Lizzie said Facebook was in Facebook jail today. Oh. Um, don't know what that means. And the McCoys are joining us. Good evening from uh, everyone from Cajun country. From the it's Red Cajun. McCoys. Lizzie said she loves this movie, so we're holding her responsible now for the plot. Now, here's the thing about this movie. Emilio Estevez is your star. Emilio! Who, who supplies the soundtrack? Jefferson Starship. <laughs> One of the greatest rock bands out there. Oh. Metallica? One of the greatest rock bands. Rock bands. You know I don't know my genres. Um, I know you don't, because unless it's Bruce Springsteen, which I have a funny tidbit about this movie, and 
I don't know. Said uh, said musician. Was it Guns and Roses? Was not. Um, I don't know. ACDC. Oh, right. That's another fave of yours. Provided the soundtrack for this film. Okay. Which now, which makes it gives it total legitimacy as a blockbuster. Now you're not embarrassed to the fact that you think you watched it. I did watch it. You did watch it. Yes, I, I do. Re I, now that I, I I went back and I watched the trailer. And then I watched some other stuff about the movie. I was like, oh, yeah, I did watch this. Okay. And now I remember exactly why, because this really fell into the whole how, how silly uh, scary movies are. And this is my whole thing. We can't ever watch a scary movie. Like, I can't. We, we took my daughter to see Annabelle. That was the last scary movie that you watched. And it was before. not scary. That's the problem. Was, my daughter and her friend were terrified. Of course, they didn't sit with us. Um, I wasn't scared. I don't get scared, but I find it interesting, and I, I like to watch scary movies. This one leans over. So the guy's gonna come out of the closet with the blah blah blah. And, and did like, the guy come out of the closet yes, with the blah blah blah? Yes. Don't be predictable. <laughs> if you're gonna do a horror film, you can't be predictable. They're all predictable. Then it's well. Then what's scary about it? Nothing. Love love movies are predictable. Romantic comedies are predictable. Uh, Dramas are predictable. How many times did you watch the guy who wakes up out of a dead sleep and finds out somebody was kidnapped? What's his name? I didn't really Liam like. Neeson. I didn't like those movies. Exactly. So I can't really watch any movie. You can. You without can watch him them. destroying it while we're watching. It's not my fault. You should blame the writer and the director of the film. Yeah. I'm going to blame that a billionaire here, writer who's that, been successful. That I, the, the layman off the street, figures out their silly film. Layman off the street or annoying man off the street? Well, I am a fan of film, so you can't fool me, pal. You and your fop title. You're going to have to you're gonna get be, over yourself. You're going to have to be a lot scarier to get that this old guy. Uh... Here's the thing, though. So, like, I watched Pet Cemetery. Loved it. That freaked me out. Now, why would that I just it did because the premise was more real. Oh, was it? Then some dude walking around the chainsaw from the dead who who never runs, always walks the same pace. But all the more, I mean, they've made now a a commercial for Geico or whatever it is that makes fun of it, which is, hey, should we go in the running car? No, no, no. Let's go hide behind the chainsaws. It's pretty stupid. Anywho, um, Robert Spear is joining us tonight. Hello, Robert. Also What's up, man? State of New Jersey. Look yeah. at all of these Jersey it is a, people. It is a, I think you're all coming out rallying. It is. It is a nice ADB's state. home state. It is a nice state. It is a beautiful state. It is the Garden State. I, I've heard that. Yes. Um, is that because there's a lot of olive gardens? No. There? It's because it's very green. Is it? And beautiful. Um, Lizzie said 10 for good buddies. Love it. Yeah. So this is a, your, so we, we've got twofold here. Yes. We've got the trucker. We've got, a, the we got the semi truck. The semi truck. Semi? Semi truck. I don't say sem truck. I didn't say sem truck. Uh, the McCoy said, I had fun drawing the goblin last year or the goblin truck last year for Hot Rod October, which, by the way, has started. Guys, go ahead yeah, over to the page. Yeah, cool. Um, Hank and Draco, I believe, and, and maybe some others helped with the list, but they've got the list together. And it is up and running. In full-fledged... Uh, go mode. Yeah. So go check it out. Um, it is on Facebook. It's a Facebook group or page called Hot Rod, Rod Inc. October. October. Yeah. Not Ink October. Why do you say that? Hot Rod Inktober. 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 Um, Robert Spears said, I was saying 10 for good buddy to my middle school kids at school today. They did not get it. <laughs> I didn't say 10 for to anybody today except for Johnny, and he was instantly annoyed. Um, Lizzie said, Itty B, have you ever had a CB name? Of course good she question. has. Um, I was the Nova. I thought we had already. We have already established this, but did maybe we? she forgot. Okay, that's all right. Or maybe she just wanted me to say it again. Because it's, <laughs> it's so <laughs> silly. I had, um, I was driving at the time my grandparents' hand me down 77 Chevy Nova four door. Right. Black, so you were like, polyester. what could be a cool trucker name for me? Well, it wasn't a trucker name. We weren't trucking. CB handle. 
my CB handle was the Nova. I, I had um, the black Nova initially, but I felt it was too wordy. So I just changed it to the Nova or just Nova. Right. This is Nova. <laughs> Come back. Sounds, now. sounds lame now that, Come you, back now. now that you hear it, right? <laughs> <laughs> the guys loved it, I will tell you. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cam McNulty is joining us tonight. What's Cameron up? What's up, me daughter? I'm sure there was plenty of uh, truckers that were like, you seen the seat cover on that there uh, 1980 uh, uh, Chevy Nova? Tell you what, boy, feels out like a denim skirt. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> skirt, skirt. Um, Jim Pollan is joining us. Hello, everyone, from Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. What's up, Jim? Did you see the sunflowers? I did. I was very impressed. Have you ordered me some yet? No. <laughs> okay. Because here's the thing. What? Do you order me things? Yes. Other than hot pockets. Did I or did I not just go to the store other and than get a, you Claritin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> other than a hot pocket. I bought you breakfast pizzas. Yeah. Who loves you? Oh. Wow. Um, Lou Linder Jr. Lewis. is joining us from good. Oh, he said, good evening from Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. What's going on, Lou? Um, Lizzie said that her best friend just lost her mom this past Saturday from COVID. Uh, yeah, that's too bad. I, I know somebody as well um, who has passed away. So prayers for those families, guys. This is no joke. And um, mm -mm. no yeah. joke. Um, Mama Wood said, hi, my babies. John is clear, but itty not very clear. Hmm. I have my... Should be pointed towards your face. My mic. Okay, moving the mic. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Well, I mean, usually I'm the louder one, anyways, Mom. So, um, I do. I do. I do have a stage voice. Paul Marziani said, "Yes, we did not have Facebook today either." Because huh. he said, "No one did." I don't remember. Um, Actually, I wasn't on Facebook. you know what? I, that's okay. funny because I was trying to get on Instagram all day and it was stuck. So maybe, I mean, they are the same thing, one and the same. So are they owned by the same peeps? Yeah. Um, we had the McCoys, Lizzie, Danny Moorhead, all saying ACDC. Draco's guess was Spinal Tap. Nice. <laughs> um, the McCoys said, who made who? Right. <laughs> um, Terry Charniski's joining us tonight. What's up, Terry? She said, LOL, I love you guys. Too funny. Miss you. Let's get together soon. Yeah. For sure. We are Maybe we can sit down and we can watch Maximum Overdrive. Yeah. Nice. One of the greatest films ever that Stephen King put out. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> um, Paul Marziani said, I am a Philly guy. Oh, okay. I'll allow it. You're a Florida guy now, so for sure. Um, yeah, so uh, just to tell you real quick, too, we, we have our, our wide shot camera that we've had for weeks since we started doing the um, live yep. shots. But Johnny did order a new Water, camera. Uh, ordered. Ordered a new camera for his drawing. So let us know if you're able to see okay and you're not getting the glare over there. Yeah, there might take some adjustments for this new uh, shot, the overhead camera that we're using. It's a little bit of a smaller well, setup. But what we've hoped is that it would take away from us using a phone, which would mess with the broadcast Feedback. so it's only one feed going out mm -hmm. uh through Streamyard right yes. now so and then of course only one mic input as well so we're it hoping helps. that helping that sound is now improved it's already helps because we were able to run and we were able to play the intro stuff right. so it's already it's kind of working out it really is i mean without Good saying investment. so high <laughs> five to you sir well i do what i can yeah <laughs> And um, good news, I was here at 9 o'clock. I shut up early. Yeah, you did. To help. Yeah. And wound up in the way. Pretty once much. Once again. So I don't know why I showed up early. I better be getting paid. It's in your contract. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of it, but. Uh... Oh, my goodness. Draco said Spinal Tap was a joke. Turn it to 11. I thought it was a great movie. Spinal Tap? Yeah. That was a movie? Yes. Well, I know it's a medical procedure, but I also thought uh -oh. it was a band. Yeah, it's a movie. About the band? It's not a real band. Oh, it's not? No. Oh. It was a rockumentary, or a, what do they call it? A, um, um, where they made it, it was like a documentary, but it wasn't real. Like a behind the music? But it wasn't real. 
kind of like Eddie and the Cruisers? Um, less trying to be real. This was like making fun of uh, documentaries about bands. And I stuff. honestly thought all this time that Spinal Tap was an actual. Band. I'm I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Draco said it's a mockumentary. Mockumentary. Thank you, Draco. That's the word I was looking for. Um, Draco said, I'm a Philly cheesesteak guy. Speaking of which, you had a really good cheesesteak lately. <laughs> I told you to go. Hey, oh, segways. <laughs> Just when you thought I, we were talking about I movies. I never liked cheesesteak. I, this I was grew a, up on it was a... steakums. Did anybody else eat steakums? Does anyone still eat steakums? It's like beef paper. Have you had them? Steakums? Yeah. Sure. It's like paper. Why? They were horrible. Why do you say like that? Them. I don't like them. Now, my sister makes peppers and onions, like like peppers, onions, and yeah, I've uh, had it. sausage. I'm not impressed. You weren't happy? You put the sausage, peppers, and onions? I'm not impressed. I'll be sure to tell her. Okay, well, go ahead. Um, I keep waiting for the Italians to really blow me away with your Italian food. It hasn't happened, so... I no, you can't say that about Mexican food because I have. I lured you. I told well, we had this conversation. Listen, I would have I would have eaten a wooden shoe. It's <laughs> trying to get in your pants. Oh my gosh. Um, Kids, if you're watching, I what I meant was is I yeah. really wanted to play with her Legos. <laughs> Alicia Allen said you will be paid in Halloween decorations. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really don't have any room to hang any more things. Oh, I'm sure you could find but some I, room. I do have room for um, plaques and signage. Yes. Yeah. There's still perhaps more ghosts or scarecrows. There's there's but, all there's always room for more. Um, Draco calls it a mockumentary. Right, mockumentary. <laughs> um, Hank said, "I can't find them at the store. I would have them once a week." Really? Ah. Uh, I don't like them. Why? What's wrong with them? I just don't like them. There's what? no flavor, and it's literally... That's what I'm talking about. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Draco said, still got steakums in the freezer. Oh. Yeah. How are people still eating these when there's Why real not? meat out there? Is there really meat, though? There is. Alicia Allen said, um, sounds delicious? Question mark. They were horrible. I, I think it's all in the way it was cooked. I don't know. I mean, uh, never mind. I'm not going to say a word. Because I didn't cook them. Well, I'm sure if you were... I didn't make them. Your mom did. Yes. So did. more than likely, she probably killed them. She probably, my because my mom likes things well done. Exactly. I mean, the second it hits so, the flame, uh, you need to flip it because everything, it's so thin. Everything, yeah, exactly. So everything needs to be overly cooked in your family. So therefore, it probably did taste like garbage because it was like... It was already... Any, any moisture whatsoever was gone. <laughs> or the blood. There's no blood in them. You only just found that oh. out. So he sends me a video because I won't. I, I don't like rare meat. I usually because you're you're well afraid done. that it was blood. And even like even the red meat, I would cook like burgers and stuff. I would just destroy them. Right. Yeah. And he sent me a video that said that that what appears to be blood coming from the meat is not. It is not. It's not. It's not. So I'm like, all right. Whatever. You're like, I don't believe you. Tracy Cordell is joining us. What's and, up, Tracy? Um, I'm going to read it how he wrote it because it's funny. Okay. But he put, hi, guts, <laughs> instead of hi, guys. Wow. And then he said, Dory, I'm late, <laughs> instead of sorry, I'm late. <laughs> but he said he's with his twin brother, Tim, in Lawrence, South Carolina. Please give him a shout out. Nice. Tim, What's up, Tim? Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to the jams. Tracy, we hope you're doing well. We saw you got your uh, beanie. Love yeah, it. rocking it. sending the photo. Um, Howard said uh, the McCoys added the geniuses to the range geniuses to the ranger that got me into Ian Marcel and then to Johnny Jalopy Wood. Nice. Um, geniuses. Like the genius bar. Oh. Okay. What? I don't know. You just said geniuses. Mm -hmm. Added the geniuses to the ranger that got me into Ian Marcel and then to Johnny Jalopy Wood. I'm not sure what the geniuses are, hmm. but if he was referring to you, I doubt that it would be me. I doubt it as well. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> uh, Bob McLaren uh, uh, 
and said, oh, my God, steakums are cardboard with meat flavoring, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, Bob said, my customer's building was where steakums started. Oh, nice. I mean, they a multi-million dollar company, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure of it. I'm sure. Um, Bob said, the best cheese steaks in the country are in South Jersey. Mm. Philly, I think, would probably give you a run for your I time. don't know. That's my fear. See, that's... I want. I, I, you want a Philly cheesesteak? I want to. I do, but you I'm so scared. Airport. I'm so scared because you know, because I was lured in. I was lured into lured? the Jer to the Jersey Shore. Lured. 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 And lured into the Jersey Shore, being told how amazing the, the pizza, pizza is. is. Wah, wah, wah. Because I took them to Maruca's on the seaside. Now it's excuses. He didn't like. He didn't like the tomato pie. If what are you talking pizza. about? Because I gave you, it was a cheese slice. You didn't have pepper. Who pizza. eats? That's not pizza. It is pizza. That's, a, you know what that is? That's almost, almost a grilled cheese. It just needs the other side. <laughs> no. No. Um, Draco said tasty cardboard, though. So apparently he's a steak and fan. You want to pan out so people can see where you're at with this, or are you not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me just uh, try to get the lights in here. Yeah, I want to see how this one works out. This was totally my idea. Oh, he said, Howard Pierpont said Genesis. Uh, that makes more sense than genius. <laughs> not that Johnny's not a smart man, because he is. Well, not from Genesis either. More of Me a and smart Phil Collins. Than a smart man. Oh, shit. Um, Tracy said, I told my brother about Lane and the Tallywhacker show. He got a kick out of it, too. Nice. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Um, Bob said, nope, there's three places in Philly that are good, but hands down, South Jersey is the best. When you're up this way, I'll treat you to the best around. Okay. okay. We're going to hold you to that, man. We are. And it better be good. Um, if, if you guys know anything about us, we are foodies for sure. So I don't know if you were foodies. We, are. we like food. We like food. That is cool. Look at this whole scene he has drawn out, you guys. This is going to be fantastic. Well, well, if we can get there, I'm, I'm, I'm running. No, you're good. You're only at 27 minutes. Yeah, w w with inking it. Okay. Get busy. I am. Get busy. Uh, Get Robert busy, y'all. said, are you talking about donkeys? Oh, so maybe maybe he knows the place. Donkey steaks? Donkey steaks? Mm. Is already... it donkey meat? I doubt that Is it's that... donkey meat, you dork. I don't think it's not. Oh. I wouldn't eat it if it was donkey meat. Why wouldn't you? It says donkey meat. What's wrong with donkey meat? I eat chicken. Mm. I eat turkey. I eat my friends the cows. That's it. That's not tr necessarily true. What else do I eat? You've known to put and put. Yep. What else did I put? Fish. Oh, I have eaten fish. That's not a meat. It's not. No. Oh, okay. What is Seafood. it? Seafood. It's not meat. It's not considered meat. It's not. Yeah. When they describe like what's inside of a, a a crab leg, let's say, they they what do they say? Crab meat. Crab. Oh, did you use the word meat? They're wrong. Okay, everyone else is wrong. <laughs> um, Tracy said, "I know I came in late. What is the sketch from? It is the uh, truck from Maximum Overdrive. Is it Overdrive? Maximum Over." Drive. Is it? <laughs> I'm double oh my god, that's what you made me. Maximum play. overload. No, maximum over overdrive is what it is. Maximum overload's a game. Oh, okay, that's what you told me initially. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maximum overdrive. So Tracy, what the premise was here tonight was that today is 10-4, October 4th. So it was 10-4, good buddy. And then um Being it's October. That, but then because we are in Halloween time, Johnny wants to do something costume like or scary or Halloween themed themed for Halloween. So this was the perfect mix. I think this was the perfect design for tonight. Um Bob McLaren said the like button isn't working for me. I'm sorry. Well don't be discouraged because it usually doesn't work for most. Um we have 16 <laughs> that was, likes. That's right a joke. That's a joke. So Get it? 18 likes. That so most, maybe he found it. The most people don't smash the like button. Thank you. Um, Paul Marziani said Jim's on uh Are South you scrolling Street the Philly? banner by the way? Have you hit the banner? What banner? Banner. Initiate the banner. Engage. Ticker? Yep. It should be one right up there. This? Yep. Show. 
Boom. One below it. Show. Oh, no. Bad. Use banners to summarize your oh, talking points. Let me see the other one. I can't see your screen. That's the one. Go erase the other one. Hi. All right. There we go, guys. We are now ticker. We now have a ticker. We now have a ticker. Let me go back to my comments. Um, let's see. So back to cheesesteaks, Robert Spears said. <laughs> I don't think I would even eat one. I'm not I'm not a fan. A cheesesteaks? Yeah. I don't Why? I just, I've never liked them. I was force fed them as a child. That's weird. Same as fish sticks. Can't eat them. Can't eat them. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. That's silly. I just don't like them. Um, Jim, mm -hmm. Jim, I'm not sure how to say the last name. McKeels. Okay. Um, he said shows. I don't know what we're showing. Show and tell. No, he just has shows, and then he has star, star, star. Maybe show. I don't know. Um, fish sticks are gourmet food. Draco said. Yeah, not in this house. <laughs> Um, I did finally buy the other day some coconut shrimp from the Schwann's guy, and we had it. Yeah. I liked it. It wasn't bad. It wasn't restaurant quality, but. No, it was not. But in a pinch. In a pinch, it it, would, it did work. Um, Robert Spears said, next time in Philly, you have to go to Gino's and Pat's. Get one from each. They are the most famous. Then we go to Donkey's and Camden, and they will be the best. Okay. Okay. Take a your, lot of cheesesteaks. Take your word for it. I'm down. A lot of cheesesteaks. We've got to fit in a pizza run as well. Um, I'm kind of over trying to get pizza from your place. Um, Draco said that's what I get for my anniversary. Okay. Says anniversary food. Um, Bob McLaren said tourist traps. <laughs> Howard Pierpont said we used to have boxed crab sticks from First National. I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. I, I walked down the frozen food aisle, and now that I've tried some different shrimp things like they have a probably a bang i don't think they call it bang bang shrimp but something similar to it <laughs> is it bang bang sure is that what's it called so sexy the way you say it though bing bang bing bang what is it it's ping pong ping pong shrimp um they have those and i have not purchased one it's flying bang flam bang fling bing uh draco said which is tomorrow um what is t oh, his anniversary is tomorrow. Oh, oh happy anniversary. Happy the anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. What song are you singing? Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And with the big meatloaf ending. <laughs> Um, the McCoy said, I added the Yosemite Sam back off mud flaps to the Ranger in honor of Ian and Johnny on the back of a funky, uh, funky Ventura. All right. Good deal. That is cool. I mean, do you know, I will take, I will take all. All what? The credit, credit for that. That was my, that was, that was, a, his that idea. was my idea. It's on camera. Um, do you know that up until just a few <laughs> years ago? <laughs> and then I go, is he watching? I hope he's not watching. <laughs> I didn't see him pop up. Um, that I thought Yosemite was Yo's mic. Because <laughs> I expected Yosemite to be. And you're giving me crap about lure? Lure. Yo's mic? I didn't know it was Yosemite. I expected an ITI at the end. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Hmm. People in glass houses. I know. I know. Um,. Tracy said, I told Lane how much I appreciated a sketch of the 1955 and the stickers to which I'm framing, and it will be the first thing on my new wall. I sent Johnny a few pics of the wallpaper yeah, and wooden chair row, so that sketch will be the first of many to go on my wall. We are Fantastic. honored to be there. Um, Draco said, I'm extremely honored to hear the wonderful song stylings of Itty B. Of course. <laughs> of course. Um, oh, I don't get any credit? I was backup vocals. Actually, I was lead, but you know. Ronnie Davis is joining us. What's up? What's up, Johnny? Just stopped by to say, hey, I'm out. I enjoyed Facebook being out today, so I'm extending it till tomorrow morning. Peace out, y'all. Keep up the awesome work. Thanks. Appreciate it. 
Oh, I didn't even think, you know, if Facebook had trouble, so if, if viewership is down. It is down. We we'll, have 17 people. Right we'll, we'll blame it on that. Right. That <laughs> and Monday Night Football, your Raiders are playing tonight. Yeah, and I'm and, and I'm, I'm doing sketchy. You're missing it. Um, Tracy said, I had shown that 55 sketch to a lot of people. We appreciate any of the likes, the loves, the shares, uh, word of mouth stuff. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Definitely a force to be reckoned with our jalopy army we are excited to be a part of it with you let me focus in on what john is doing here on the drawing there you have it so he is really creating a whole um what would you call it a scene, scene? yeah <laughs> he's making a scene um, let's see. Bob McLaren said the Raiders are losing 14 to 0. Uh, said, You're not missing much. Our team is losing. So he's a fan with you. Okay. Yay. Well, we actually watched the Bucks game last night. I don't know why I stayed up until midnight for this thing because I normally don't watch football. But uh, Johnny insisted. And they pulled it out for the win. They did. Good job. Unless you were a. Uh, a, um, what do you call it, fan? And then you're like, they did not win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they put up a good fight. It was it was neck and neck there. You know, here's the fucking thing. What? Every single time any athlete, megastar, <laughs> multimillionaire has any type of a human moment, Itty B just feels so, like when the, the, the when kicker, kicker the kicker miss, you're like, oh my gosh, that poor man. I said, like, boy, because he's like 20. Yeah. As I it, felt so as bad. He, as, a, oh. a, as he goes after the game and climbs in his $150,000 Ferrari, the thinking, his thinking about you, that. not yeah. one ounce. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. There's always tomorrow. What? The sun will come out. Tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Bet your bottom dollar. That tomorrow? Mm-hmm. There'll be sun. <laughs> I do, I do feel bad. And then like, why? Because it, it's devastating. And you were a football player. If you messed up, didn't you feel horrible? Man, I should have blocked that guy. Or man, I should have. Um, I was in high school. You didn't give a crap. So um, I wasn't a pro athlete. Pro or not. When you're doing something and you're giving 100% of yourself, you want it to be good. And when it's not, I, I'm sure there's a little bit of disappointment that you feel. I, I watched that kid face after he missed that kick at the, the end that 62 year old man devastated. that did the kick he wasn't 62 he was 105 he was a if he was boy. a day oh my god if he was a day <laughs> my dad always I know. says that. I know. he was 52 if he was a day <laughs> anyways um yeah i felt bad about that and then i felt i felt very emotional for tom brady you were like the whole time you were like oh my goodness I hope he's okay. what a dramatization this is oh. gonna be so tough on him to be back there with his people that poor home. man I, oh and they're booing him now oh they didn't, no they didn't boo him. oh they ended up booing him. No, they when didn't. he walked on the field they were saying Brady, Brady. I guess you missed the part where they were booing him as soon as they he went to do his first play. They were booing him. Yes. I missed it. Yes. I must have been in the restroom. Yeah, I, I don't think you were. I think you were on in your own little world. Maybe a whole new world, exciting and new. Come aboard. <laughs> we're expecting That's you. That's two different songs. <laughs> Love. It's like a love boat, and the other one is Aladdin. I'm Exciting Tracy and new. Got it. Got oh, you People are hearing about the both of you from me. My lady friend Debbie to me. I'm, obs I'm obsessed with you guys. Oh, well. <laughs> um, Lucy said the Bucks was a tight game. It sure was. Now, did you mean that in the most uh, real urbanish kind of new wave? It was toy. It was toy. That she, game was toy. She spelled it T-I-G-H-T. Okay. Um, Alicia Allen said that game was close. Ken Farrell is laughing, crying. So Diesel is laugh. spelled. We could amuse you. Diesel is spelled. D-I-E. I-E. S-E-L. Is it I-E? I am asking you. I want to say. I'm asking you, Spellatron. Diesel. D-I-E-S-E-L. 
That is right. I was just asking you, Spellatron. As usual. Spellatron. Um, Alicia said he probably gets more when he makes it and less when he doesn't. I don't think it's about the money at that point. No, it, it's His never. Face no pro athlete is about, about the money. money. No. Just, if you guys watch you, it, they're you human face, people. They're humans. Um, Leave Howard, them. Howard says, I used to work with the team stats guy for the past. Interesting stories. Oh. Theo. Interesting. I guess that was the guy's name. Megatron. Yeah. Interesting stories. True tales from the sidelines. Ken Farrell said, don't quit your drawing over singing. I know, right? Oh. What are you saying? That you don't sing well. Oh, I guess you haven't ever really heard me. Johnny actually is yeah, he, a phenomenal singer. You know, he eat those words. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you are able to see. Let me focus in here on our wide angle shot. But look at that. To the left, we've got the Johnny uh, trucker hat, which Johnny is also wearing, our original trucker hat with the Johnny Jalopy logo. The OG trucker hat. The OG. And then we have the sketchy speed equipment, gray and black trucker hat available as well. The OG. On the left up there, you will see the sticker pack um, one, which is the Johnny Jalopy logo, the eye guy, and the Jalopy army sticker. Sticker pack two, which my little creature's head is in front of what we have the um johnny five the space junkie 2.0 and then the funky futura from ventura sticker that sticker pack two those are both available 10 bucks each guys on those um the hats are 25 and i'm not wearing the beanie tonight oddly because i was chilly yeah you were chilly and then you were i should have but chili con carne i did curl my hair today and i thought i'm gonna wear it down i'm gonna wear it down huh so I didn't wear the hat, but we do have the beanies available too. Those are also 25 guys. Killer beanies. Everybody's wearing them. When I say everybody, some people are wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> they might Nearly almost Cooler everybody. The weather is coming upon us in many parts of the United States. Of course, not here in Florida. That's right. But um, not yet. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to check into that on the website. In a world. JohnnyJalopy.com. You see it at the bottom there on the ticker, bottom of your screen. There we go. Well, look at that scene, huh? Oh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me get back there and show you all the. Yes. What? Where's Diesel? On the sign. It says fuel. It's okay. Never mind. Where's Diesel? Right here. Oh, okay. I can't see it. All right. $108? Oh, $10.85? Okay. That's a lot. It's diesel. I don't think that's how much diesel costs. <laughs> what era? In this movie, doing? it is. Oh, my God. That's a pretty expensive. Fine, here we go. It's $1.08. It's not a dollar. That's too much. Gallon. Dollar no, eight a gallon. It's like four or five dollars a gallon. This is nineteen eighty. Oh, so it was ten. It was more expensive back then. Yeah, could be. Oh my gosh. Um, Draco said it's for the love of the game. Says no pro pro athlete ever. That's true. That's mean. Bobby Theriault made it. He said, "Hey y'all, we made it." Hey, what's up? Him and Betty. I'm guessing. Um, Alex Kuderon is joining us. He says, wow, Maximum Overdrive Semi, OMG. So he recognizes it. Nice. Um, oh, Bob McLaren said 21 to 0 now for that Raiders game. Oops. Because I'm not watching. Ooh, is that what it is? Yep. You don't have your hat on backwards? Remember when we used to do that at the Rays games? No. I don't you don't remember right, you wearing your hat to the side? You wouldn't put it. The you mean a way. rally cap? Yes. That's a different thing. What is that? It's a rally cap. What does that mean? We're doing it for a rally. What's the rally? That we'll come back. Oh. We'll rally from behind. Oh, I see. <laughs> Do you? I don't. <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> it at all. So um, it looks like Alex is probably familiar with this movie. And Lizzie said that she loved this movie. So... What was the actual um, premise of it? Because I and do you remember? Absolutely. Okay. Yes, I know what the premise was. So 
you said it started off as an advertise advertisement, the clown on the front of the semi, because it was delivering the toys. It was part of the, it, the truck is the way it looks normal. It's not like it, this happened because of whatever happened. Right. Right. So they, they did that. They put that on the front because this was a toy delivery truck. Correct. Okay. And then what happened that it got possessed? Because I hear that it was now driving itself. It was. Not just this truck. All machines came to life. Meteor crashed. Oh. And made all the machines come to life. So it was a and the machines thing? and the machines started killing. So it's like toy soldiers. It's like toy soldiers. It's nothing like toy soldiers. It's machines killing people. Small soldiers is what I'm thinking. That's about. toys killing people. This is machines killing people. So more destructive. Uh, Ken Farrell said it was a crazy movie. Um, Tracy Corbell said, you know, if I had the time, I'd love to be a salesman for Johnny Jalopy Art. I know I'd have a blast going to car shows and setting up a Johnny Jalopy Art booth. That would be fantastic. <laughs> we would love it because we're unable to be at all the shows. Uh, but um, that's kind of our desire, too. If we had the time, we would also love to be salesmen for Johnny yeah, for, Jalopy Art. For real. <laughs> There was a time when we were. There was a time when we, we used to go to the car show. There was a time to dance. There was a time to sing. And there was a time. <laughs> to laugh. And oh, laugh. that was, sorry. That was, uh, that was um, Footloose. <laughs> this is looking super cool, though. You are at 46 minutes, sir. I told you. I was worried about the time getting away from me. It's okay. It's okay. Guys, our prior episodes are up on the site. If you want to go check those out again, johnnyjalopy.com. Um, last week, let me pull up our site for you. Um, last week, we did a Halloween themed uh, Franken purse. It's a Frankenstein purse last week, and that one came out super cool. Um, Hank Dutton, our web designer, has made the uh, website very interactive. So when you click on the print of the design that Johnny did, it actually also has a link to watching the live drawing like you're watching tonight. So super cool feature there and kind of nice to be able to see how it came about. You can maybe scroll through it or fast forward through it and watch it develop. Uh, I've been trying to keep up on the, the uh, broadcast here at least one screen with the design and then I'm, I'm trying to include us because for some reason johnny wants wants both of us on camera uh, maybe to see the facial expressions and the annoyed looks on my face when he says things that are inappropriate or that don't agree with my view on things maybe which is most of the time <laughs> um but yeah i'm i'm gonna actually flash back now to what he's doing on the computer I think the truck came along very quickly. And so did this take place in a desert area? Because that looks very deserty. The scene looks very deserty. Yes. The street well, I don't know if it's there. really out in the desert. No. no. Just this truck stop is very. I feel like, I feel like, I mean, I know truck stops exist everywhere. In fact, we've been to some, but. My idea of a truck stop is always in a desert. I don't know why. Maybe because in the movies it's that way. Yeah, that's know. exactly why. <laughs> but if somebody's like truck stop, I'm like, oh yeah, desert, <laughs> Nevada or yeah. Arizona. Nobody else has truck stops. <laughs> no. They're just gas stations. Um, it's a gas station on steroids because the truck stops we've been to, like with the pilot ones, that's like our favorite place to stop. Sure. There's just such a selection of stuff. We stuff love it. You didn't even know you needed. We love it. I do love it. We love a truck stop. Like all the bedazzled stuff. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> the more bedazzled, the better. Every and any color bandana you could absolutely ever want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Ken Farrell said, Turkey Rod Run is coming up soon. Hope y'all will be there. Ken, we don't ever have an opportunity to go to the Turkey Rod Run, unfortunately. Johnny works retail, and yeah. that, as you know, is Black Friday weekend and a super busy time at his store. And being the manager there, he Mino gets to, to play. Yeah. Yeah. So we used to be able to go, and years past we have gone, and we have set up shop there. There were a few times we just took the car and we were spectators. 
And then there were a few times that we actually set up in the vendor area and we did okay there. Yeah. It's just, it's such a long day. And um, at that time of the year in Florida, it's super chilly in the morning and then like 90 degrees by two o'clock. So you have to bring like two sets of clothes. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, Mike Smith said, ADB, I'm with you, have not seen the movie and I'm lost, but cool drawing like always. Yes, I am lost as well, but apparently, I don't know, some liked it, some thought it was just okay. The movie? Yeah. Uh, it was a, it's a total B, uh, you know, cult movie, cult classic type movie. It, it did horrible. Oh, it was actually released in the movie. Well, I guess it would have been. Yes, like it was released in the movies. It was, it was not, it was not received well. <laughs> there you go again. Oh, poor Stephen, <laughs> poor Stephen King and these multi-millionaire <laughs> movie makers. Those four guys. Well, because you just said he was so excited to finally do something on his own and then it tanked. I'm surprised he even had the courage to do another. Well, film. he ends up turning around and starts making fun of the film himself. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Tracy Corbell said, "What was the name of the movie that had the big black limo that was possessed and drove around killing people?" Except at the. Uh, I think that was the car, but I don't know if it was a oh, limo. Draco it was a Lincoln. Was it was a Lincoln. Oh. Yeah. With the Lincoln lawyer in it. Yes, with the Lincoln lawyer in it. <laughs> You, I can't let it go. You ignorant. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's funny. It looks cool. Like, I almost want to watch the movie just based on what you're drawing here. Well, good. I'm it glad. looks like it could be a fun time. It could be. Now, what are you coloring in green over there? What is that? Trees? Oh. I thought it was, um, I thought that was like a desert thing. Okay, I'll allow it. Uh, Tracy Corkbell said thanks. I couldn't remember. I saw, um, I think it was Hank who was at a car show this past week. And Hank, are you still on? What was the deal with that car show? Are you in an area where there are a bunch of shows going on? Well, we have, we, have, area? we have shows that go on here. What ones are going on here? It's the same thing. They're just little local shows. It wasn't like it was a giant show he went to. We are actually planning on possibly taking Kona out for a spin on Friday if the weather cooperates. We are? You sent me the link to the... Oh, right. Yeah. What was it again? I don't remember. I forgot. Um, right. But I do know that it was something this weekend on yeah, Friday. I forgot to. Um, road... Ha oh, it was the... Oh, that's right. Over... County Choppers. At the ch oh, they opened up at yeah. Orange County Choppers. Um, Bar and Grill. Yeah. It, we, we checked it out. And it's a pretty cool place. because It's big. I would say that is huge. It is a big place. Huge outdoor big area, venue. huge indoor area, a lot of memorabilia and stuff from the show. Um, but they're doing Volkswagens at Orange County Choppers. And is that St. Pete? Yeah, yeah. St. Petersburg. So we may be there on Friday night with Kona. I think it'll be a neat meetup. Um, Hank said uh, it was a small show. It had way, way, way too many new cars at it. My dad and I were there for 15 minutes and then left. Yeah, we've, we've noticed the same thing. Some of the shows that we go to um, that are maybe geared towards like classic cars, people think classic slash collector, and then they bring some of the newer cars as well. And, you know, everybody's it's it's, just they're, they're just being, yeah, they're enthusiasts and they're trying to, you know, have their, you know, their car too. So you can't, I can't knock them. Yeah. Um, Hank's what like, good would it do? If you did. What's that? It doesn't look good would it do if you knocked them. Right. Um, Hank said, we try and find a local car show each weekend. That's cool. I didn't know you were going with your dad. That's neat. Um, do the girls ever go with you? <clears throat> we used to bring my daughter Cassidy. Um, when we used to bring our 51 Chevy Raquel to the shows, uh, we had a book that was called Friends of Raquel. Yeah. <laughs> and she would walk around. What was she, like eight? Yeah. She would walk around. Would you like to sign this with book? With this book. And I don't, do we even, so we must still have it somewhere. Somewhere. That would be so cool to find, but <clears throat> people would sign the book. We actually, um, we brought it to Old Town with us, which is in the Orlando area. And a lot of the people that are visiting up there are not from this country. There's a lot of people in from other countries that are visiting Disney here. And um, those people were writing things in the book. So it'd be really neat to see what was in there. We'll have to find that. 
Uh, but my daughter would go up to everybody, hi, would you like to sign our book? And they're like, sure, because she was adorable. And they're like, yeah, we'll just do whatever you say. That was cute. <clears throat> um, Draco said there is a car too, also. I guess the first one wasn't enough. Um, <clears throat> Bob McLaren said he's leaving tomorrow for the Hershey car show, which I hear is supposed to be pretty big. So that'll be fun. Cool. We'll be looking for photos from that. Are you bringing some of your um, stuff to sell or are you just going as a spectator? Um, Hank said everyone has their likes, everyone has their dislikes, but there needs to be a cap on the year. So people that are going to show up know what's going to be there. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it, <clears throat> if it's fully open. You all right there, babe? Yeah. I have Can you get a drink of water or something? My I just drank. Yeah, because so. Uh... You don't like my throat clearing as part of the show? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> If I had, <clears throat> especially that last one, holy cow! <laughs> that's, that's, says, that's the kind of stuff that will drive you to drinking. Will it? Yeah, <clears throat> babe, please. <laughs> Howard said, "People want to get out and show. It will sort things out soon." Yeah, I think people do want to get out there, especially if the weather's getting a little cooler now. Um, Hank said, "Ada goes with us sometimes, but she only goes because she knows I I like to, but she really doesn't like to go." <laughs> But you can make it a little father-daughter thing. What you do, and this is what Johnny used to do for me, is he'd be like, hey, we're going to go walk around in the hot sun and look for car parts that I don't know I need, but when I see it, I'll know. And the way he would get me out there is he would say, there's going to be soft serve and there's going to be kettle corn. That's right. <laughs> and every time he would get me Sucker. kettle corn and then soft serve. And I would go. Um, Ken said Daytona flea market has a car show the first Saturday of every month. Okay. Um, Bob said not selling this year, fun and business flea market, 9,800 vendors over 300 acres. Oh, uh, 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 how can you even do that in a day? That is crazy. <laughs> um, Lizzie is giving us the rundown on this movie. So she said after a comment, wait, let me get into my narrator stance. Um, after a comet caused a radiation storm on Earth, machines come to life and turn against their makers. Holed up in a North Carolina truck stop, a group of survivors must fend for themselves against a mass of homicidal trucks. Mm -hmm. A diner cook, Bill Robinson, a.k.a. Emilio Estevez. I'm guessing there's more, but she just, she just stopped writing there, so I'm waiting for the rest of it. Well, that's pretty much it. Is it? Oh, that's that's the theme. Did I see this? I feel like there was another movie that was very, you know what it was? Arachnophobia. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> they were also in an area where there were only like six of them that were not cocooned. Sure. And then there's oh, was there another, what was another that? movie that where they had they were stuck in a thing. Little Jimmy was stuck in the well. Okay, oh something, no. Something with zombies as well, wasn't there? Shit. What? Just did this one the wrong way. Oh, for crying out loud. Would you pay attention, please? I was riveted by the plot. Hank said, Itty needs a new mic. Johnny's mic is more powerful than Itty's. I'm louder here, Switch. How are you louder? Because I'm louder than you. Give me yours. Mm, we'll check the plug-in on the, on the... Check the plug over there on that yeah, side. That's it. And then check those two together. Make sure they're plugged in. They're plugged. I mean, I have it right here. Can How's that? We just switched. We just switched mics. Can you hear me now? Um, Howard said, "Look for the license plate booths. Tiger Joe Salmon and Jake Bear. Enjoy your time." To Bob, he said, 30 miles to walk the flea market." Nice. That is crazy. Who does that? We we used to do it all the time. 30 miles? I don't think we did. Daytona? Yes, you did. That wasn't 30 miles. By the time we were done, 30 miles. It was not. 30 <laughs> What are you miles. talking about? All the time. Whatever. 230s two, two on a Wednesday, Yeah. 430s on a Friday. You're delusional. Um, Hank said, I was always freaked out by the Big Ass Rabbits movie. Can't remember the name, but when they came, but when they would attack people, I would freak. Big Rabbits? What movie's that? Ooh. What's the name of it? Big Rabbits. I'd probably watch that if it had rabbits in it. I'm a rabbit fan. Horror movie with big rabbits. 
Was it called Night of the Lepus? It was from 1972. You weren't watching that. How do you know? Massive rabbit overpopulation. That's I, you can't say that you don't know people, watching this. people were watching just because you don't watch older movies. Um, Easter Bunny Kill Kill. Yeah, that's probably it. Top, top 10 creepy movie bunny rabbits. I, I have to know what all right, giant creatures running amok. Is it that's how you spell amok? A M O K. Amok. Is a common staple of sci fi horror. Let's see. Oh, Hank said, I think the new camera has a mic on it. I think Johnny has a double mic. It's the new possible. camera does have a mic on it, but it is muted unless you've unmuted it. I did not. Um, it's just as if she talks very quietly. How am I talking quietly? Your voice, because see, you think you're loud and you're like, eh, 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 eh. like when you pretend you're going to yell at someone, do your yell. We stop doing what you said. <laughs> Um, Draco said Harvey. Is that the name of the movie? Uh, Tracy said the next movie should be The Day the Drawing Came to Life. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Harold Coupon said tens of thousands of people walk the roads. Lots, lots, see, of buying and selling, or maybe lots of buying and selling. Yes, I would imagine there's quite a bit going on. That's a giant show. All right, so guys, I'm going to focus in on the detail that he's doing on this. Lots of lines in this one. I love that the wheels are represented, but they're not detailed. That looks so cool. And how the cab on this thing is kind of shattered out. That looks really cool. Very cool. Oh, Drago said Harvey was a big rabbit, but not a horror movie. Hank, you're going to need to um, Google that and figure that out because I want to know what movie that is. Coming out super cool, guys. This one is going to be awesome. Again, um, for most of you that are with us, you probably know these come 11 by 17 in size, full color, 20 bucks. You watched it be drawn, and then you can be the proud owner as well. Lizzie said new screensaver. She's digging it. Cool. Yeah, this is super cool. Well, I am looking forward to sweater weather, guys. Is it getting cool where you are? I've been uh, talking to my dad, and he did say that it is getting cooler in the evening hours in New Jersey. So I can imagine that around the area, well, I think Howard said it was getting a little cooler over there in Colorado. But, um, yeah, we we really need to look into jalopy sweatshirts i know we talked about it yeah i think i brought that up and someone said shot me down no i didn't shoot you down we just need to find a vendor for the sweatshirts where it's going to be affordable um but i think we need to do that because that would be a great double uh -huh. pack with the the hoodie and the beanie yep that would be a neat combo pack uh, Tracy Corkbell said the sketch is looking awesome. We appreciate the likes and loves, guys. Uh, Russ Randall is joining us. He said Harvey was invisible most of the movie. I don't what, I don't remember seeing. Do you remember seeing that? Harvey, the money rabbit movie? I believe so, yeah. That's because you're a fuff. Shaggy said, this is my favorite part. Love watching you do the bling bling. I know. This is my favorite part as well. Because it really just starts to come to life. Um, Howard said low 50s overnight and high 70s and 80s during the day. That's like the perfect. I love fall. I'm so excited because I am going to be driving to Virginia in November. Driving. I'm going to see the fall leaves. I'm going to see all the colors. I miss all of that. I don't get to see that down here in Florida. Everything is green all year round. So I'm very excited for this trip. Um surprise for next week i have a friend of mine from high school yeah who be. is flying in sunday night um she will be here sunday for or i'm sorry she'll be here monday for the broadcast next week 
Um, she maybe not so much a car girl, but she's very into NASCAR. Um, her son lives in, is Bristol in Tennessee? You're telling the story. I don't know. Where's Bristol? Let me look. Darn it. Where's Bristol? In the UK. That is not what I was looking for. <laughs> Speedway. You're a dork. Bristol Motor Speedway. It's in Tennessee. Yeah, so I think um, her son lives in North Carolina, I want to say. But they, they go to Bristol a lot. Um, she drives down to see him, and they, they go to the races a lot. So we will be talking cars of some sort, and I might pick her brain and see if she's got an idea for something we could draw next week unless Johnny wants to continue the Halloween theme for That us. is what we're going to be doing. Well, we will see because we there have is a no special we will see. guest. Nope. You're doing what I'm doing. Well, then maybe you can draw her car. Maybe with... I will draw you into oblivion. <laughs> um, Tracy said, since I'm from Virginia, I can take some pics for you, ADB. Well, I'm going to be in Virginia in November, so I'm going to get to see it firsthand, and I'll probably be taking my own pics. Like, I can't wait. I, I follow David Spade on Instagram, and he always does the leaf crunch walk. Have you seen it? I have things to do, like I work, oh, a job. Okay. I don't have time to be fooling around with D-list celebrities and stuff. I love David Spade. Um, I'm just kidding. He, he walks I, like, on leaves and crunches them, and that's like his favorite thing. So <laughs> It's so fun. I totally want to do it. So fun. Totally want no to do one's it. ever done that. Everyone he, does it. He's the originator of it. I love the videos of the dogs that run a million miles an hour and then dive into a pile of leaves. That's like one of my favorite things to watch. It just makes me smile. Um, Michael Garrell wants to know, am I late? No, you're not. You are right on time. Um, we're about an hour in on this thing, but uh, Johnny's putting the finishing touches in on this semi. Uh, this is the truck. If you're just joining us, this is the truck from Maximum Overdrive. Becky's drawing. This is kind of our take on 10 4 since today is October 4th. And also our Halloween theme with the little clown costume, scary guy on the front. Uh, Tracy wants to know uh, where and when are you in Virginia? Um, middle of November, and I forget the actual area that we're going to. Um, I don't remember. I'd have to look it up. Uh, Michael Garrow said to tell Johnny hi. And he's Tuning in from Washington State. Hey, what's going on? Washington State. Welcome to the State. broadcast. What's the D boy back there? Well, if you knew about the movie, you wouldn't know what the well, D boy is. I don't know is. about the movie. That's why I'm asking you. Yeah. What does it mean? It's the name of the it's the name of the restaurant or the truck stop. Well, it is the restaurant. Can anybody name that? The truck stop. Mm-hmm. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Them? Is that your trivia question? Not yet. Oh. So Johnny's talking about doing a giveaway tonight. Not sure what he's giving away. Not sure what the question will be, but you'll definitely want to stay tuned in to find out. Um, does anybody know what the D boy stands for? That's not the question. No, not the D boy. What the trucks? What truck stop this was? Uh, what Draco the D boy said, stands for? Oh. Uh, Draco said Alice's Restaurant. No. No. Different show. Um, for being a crazy clown, he's got some decent hygiene. <laughs> Shouldn't he make some of those teeth like nasty and gnarly? Well, I guess if you saw what the car looked like, you would know that that's what it looks like. Oh, Lizzie said Dixie Boy. That is correct. And then Hank said Dixie Boy. So they both got it. Why wouldn't they just put Dixie Boy on there instead of just D Boy? I put that dork. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm the one drawing it. I thought maybe you were drawing it. Again. You're <laughs> what we like to call in the community a stupid. Oh, okay. With the eyes now, he looks more scary. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. This is what just takes, just takes time because it's this dark. Is, this is scary, guys. It's dark. This is cray. It's dork out. Is this a night scene? I'm trying to make it nighttime. Hence the purple. 
Yep. Hence. Hence. Guys, did you happen to notice our Itty B and Johnny uh, figurines down here? How cute are those? The figurines. Figurines. Uh, Michael Garrow said one of my favorite artists. Thank oh, you. Nice Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I always say it very pronounced. Uh, Draco said Dixie Boy, but I stole it from Lizzie and Hank. I've avoided this movie like the plague. <laughs> He's not a fan. He's not a fan. It's not a good movie. It almost makes me want to watch it because now right? no one's talking it up. So I'm like, <laughs> You're like, how bad could it possibly be? Exactly. It's pretty bad. Did you clean up his chin? I did. Some of his green is spilling on the ground. Mm, trying to lay color down, man. Okay. Lay it down, babe. Lay it down. Tony Carter is joining us. Joe from Garage Squad has this uh, hauler. Yeah. So I've heard. That's pretty cool. So when, when this would bump into things and kill people, did it have like blood on its face after? Was it gory? It ran people over. Oh, it did. Okay, so it was like a blood and guts movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scary. Draco said, it's like Emilio. What movie is that from? <laughs> Something with, uh, what was his name? I don't know. Your story. Why do you always ask me? <laughs> it's Will Ferrell. That's so funny. Will Ferrell was in it. Was it Step Brothers? No. What was it? Why do I know what you're talking about? And it's annoying <laughs> that you don't because you're bringing it up. So annoying. Draco brought it up. He's asking. No, and then you're like, oh, yeah, that one movie that's like this one movie. What movie was it? Where he goes, I was like, Emilio. Yeah, you do. You say it all the time right, to and me, and it's not it funny because you don't know what it is. Is it Night of the Roxbury? Yes. Okay. So I did know what it was. <sighs> so annoying. I love Night of the Roxbury. Yet you don't know it. I couldn't remember. Michael Garrow said, can't wait to see you on Full Custom Garage again. You and me both, man. Um, Alicia said, it's looking good. Just give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Hank said, I have something brand new in the works. Well, really not brand new. More like 48 years old. But yeah, coming soon. Hmm. Ah, want to know what you're working on. Cool. See the photos. Draco said, night at the Roxbury. Everybody coming in for the save. Baby, don't hurt me. Um, Lizzie said, anything that was electric was cutting you. Soda machines were... Here's the funny part about this movie, right? So all the machines are going crazy, Yeah. right? To the point there was this machine gun that's out front of the diner, and it's like shooting at people, right? It's killing people, right? So then they go to find out inside the diner, underneath the diner, a whole... Arsenal. Arsenal. But why aren't those machine guns coming to life? Because they were underground. Like it had to be on the surface. Everything. They were this little kid's riding his bike and a toy car killed a dog. Little things for so it's not yeah. Get all emotional about it. Oh, you were crying? No. Why is it always gotta be emotion doesn't just mean crying. For me it does. Get some emotions, man. Put some emotions in check. <laughs> Soda cans. That's crazy. I kind of want to watch it now. Fuel. I'm shielded by lead like kryptonite, Draco said. I don't think it was. I think it was just a miss in the, uh, the writing of the movie. Oh, by the way, so um, yes. So for the for we're gonna do the trivia. Okay. We're gonna do the trivia. Ready? Mm -hmm. What were you gonna give away? The print. Oh, okay. The print. Yeah. So for a free copy of this. Free copy of the print. Here's the trivia. So the name of the movie. Wait, there's 14 people. So the name of the movie is Maximum Overdrive. Yes. Right. 
what was the what was the name of the original idea for this movie that Stephen King wrote and took this from? Mm. Anyone? Can you hear him? Repeat it again. So what was the name? What was the the original name for the movie um, of the story that Stephen King wrote? That is where this movie came from. All right. That's toilet paper on the floor on the thing, by the Tracy way. Tracy said Maximus. Nope. Guys, I'm reading the, the comments as they come in. First person to get it right is going to be our winner. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That does look like toilet paper. At first, I thought it was paint. It is toilet paper. Um, Hank said short story trucks. That is correct. Oh. And then Draco said trucks. Oh, but Hank said it first. Now, for the extra bonus. Oh, what would be the extra bonus? I'll throw a sticker in there. Oh, stickers. Who in, who did Stephen King want as the lead role? Wait a minute. Are the stickers going to Hank for the bonus since he won? Or no, are you doing so another? No, another one. Oh, we're doing another trip <coughs> for stickers. Hank is out. He won. Hank, you won. The print. For the bonus sticker pack mm -hmm. of your choice. Okay. What was the name of the person? So there's the lead actor, and his name is Emilio Estevez. Mm -hmm. But who did Stephen King really want to play that part? How sad for Emilio. He was his second choice. He was a second choice. See, you just gonna feel bad. No, you don't. And it was a crappy movie, and he probably didn't make any money off it. He was hot and off. He was, he was hot off, off Breakfast Club, so he was. This was before Saint Elmo's Fire. What are you talking about? Emilio Estevez was in St. Elmo's Fire. Was he? Yes. Did someone watch that? I watched it. Oh, there you go. Oh, McCoy said Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Paul Marziano said Richard Burton. No. No. Neither one of those. Um, Lizzie said Bruce Springsteen. Lizzie Daughtry. She's correct. She actually said Bruce Springing, but I knew she meant Springsteen. It is Bruce Springsteen. So Lizzie... I gotta write this down now because we have winner winner chicken dinner Hank. Hank, I know I have your um mailing address, but I'm gonna need it again. Lizzie, if you could also message me through email or messenger. So Lizzie is stickers. Lizzie, what sticker pack would you want? Uh one or two. One is the original uh design, sticker pack two is the full custom garage collaborations. Hank. Gets the print. My notes are made. Those will go out this week. Yep. Oh, she wants to a pack too. Thanks oh. for playing. Draco said Ben Affleck would have been better. <laughs> and then Johnny wouldn't have watched the movie at all. <laughs> I would not have. Tracy said, I will take the chicken dinner, LOL. After eating the hospital food, Tracy, yeah, I can imagine you probably want a uh, chicken dinner. All right, guys, let's see how this one is shaping up. Let me give you a full solo layout there of the design. Looking great. I will say that the camera, now that the lighting has kind of adjusted itself, this camera is showing the color a lot better than the other one last week's. Yes, because you did purple last week as well. Oh, and true. It wasn't as vibrant as this week's. Um, Hank said Emilio Estevez wishes he never starred in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, right? Yeah, because if it was during his hot time and then he did something like right after a Breakfast watching, Club. So he was just getting into acting. People fell in love with him in Breakfast Club. That's why he what, 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 what club? <laughs> what club was that? Breakfast. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. <laughs> Speaking of Breakfast Club, guys. T minus only a couple weeks and my dad will be here. Yeah, uh huh. And then it's breakfast every day until <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> 60 pounds later. It truly is. I don't know how the man can eat eggs and bacon and toast pretty much every day. I would say out of the 14 days he'll be here, we have 12 different places for him to go for breakfast mm -hmm. in our within like a five mile radius of our home. Um, tons of breakfast places by us. And then in addition to that, for the 14 days he's here, um, probably 10 of them, he will have 
bacon, well done, four strips, two eggs, over easy, and rye toast, possibly with jelly. Um, that's his go-to breakfast. On occasion, he'll do the sausage biscuit with you. Mm -hmm. On occasion, he'll do pancakes. But yeah, it's breakfast every single day. I'll go with him a couple days while he's here, and Johnny will go with him a couple days. But I can't do more than like three days in a row of breakfast because I don't eat breakfast. I love it. I, I love it too, but I, I can't eat it every day like that. Not not a big breakfast. I might go and have a yogurt or I might go and have uh, just a bagel or something. I don't know. I can't eat a full long breakfast all the time. But what it's done is that because we're so used to going with my dad now when we go up to New Jersey to visit him, we make sure we meet him every morning. We're up there to go to breakfast with him. But now it's something that Johnny and I look forward to doing on the weekends when you're home. That's like our whole thing. Mm -hmm. if, if you're off work, we're going to breakfast. That's just how it is. So it's fun. It's a thing. Um, Hank said he is quoted as saying it was a horrible movie and it brought him down. Oh, geez. <laughs> um, and then Draco said he went on to fade completely away until the new Mighty Ducks came out. Oh, I forgot he was in that. Yeah. That's right. Mighty Lizzie, thank you for sending me your address. Um, Bob McLaren said no pork roll there. Actually, Bob, there are a few places around here that do sell pork rolls. So, um, but, but you know what's funny? He doesn't get it. He doesn't really eat pork roll. It's pretty much every day bacon. Yeah. Always bacon. I don't know how. Well, he's on cholesterol pills. I was going to say, I don't yeah. know how. He doesn't have a problem. But, uh, yeah. Alicia said, love hanging with you guys, but I am signing off. Can't wait to see the full picture. It is almost Definitely, done. Definitely, yeah. Check in. Um, he is almost through. Let me go back to the design for you all so you can see it. It looks, uh, it looks like daytime. It doesn't look nighttime at all on this. Anyway, maybe you can make it a little darker because I feel like this definitely is a nighttime view. See, on your screen, it looks dark. Over here, it looks like, uh, it looks like daytime, like a blue sky. Well, there is lights. Yeah, that's true. Super cool. Just putting in the final touches, guys. We should be done with this under an hour and a half. You have eight minutes. Oh, Draco said tap out time, finish in the morning. Draco, you know we will have the uh, final picture up there for you. So definitely check in with us tomorrow. Again, thank you for your friendship and for checking on me today. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good day. Good day, sir. Good day. Have a good night, and we'll talk tomorrow, I'm sure. All right. What's he got going on? He's doing a couple more finishing touches, looks like. It's so small, people can't really see where he's going. Yeah, I know, babe. Okay. There we go. You're paying the ass. <laughs> All righty. A little bit more monster green, it looks like, going in on the face now. That actually pops better, for sure. Super cool. Lizzie says she loves it. Likes and loves, guys, if you're digging this one. You're up to 38 likes and loves. That's pretty good. Yeah. Great viewer participation. We appreciate it, guys. The more likes and loves we get on here, the more we are recognized by facebook as maybe we're hoping that that's the case that's what it's supposed to be doing a couple little final things he's looking super ghoulish all right when you said it was a clown face i'm thinking like a dun -dun 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 -dun. this is more of a like green devil face. It's the green goblin, Beth. I know, but we've already established this. I know, but initially you said a clown face. I never said a clown face. You assumed clown face. You said clown. Where would I, I never have gotten said, that from? I didn't say that. You said clown. it was a semi with a clown face. And I'm like, never said that. You did. Nope. Oh my 
that if I could record. Love it. That'd be great. If I could record everything you say. Yeah, me too. I wish I could record everything that you forget. Now, what's the red behind his head? That's his cap. It's the Green Goblin. Oh. Here you go. Google Green Goblin. Didn't I see Green Goblin? It's Spider-Man. Oh, head. I'm thinking Green Lantern. <laughs> Even though you're whispering, they can hear you. I know. I just whispered it into the mic. Okay, his cap is purple. That's not the Green Goblin. It, Cartoon dork. Uh, still purple. It's not purple. Everything in it is it purple. It is burgundy, you colorblind. It's purple. I'm already other colors. Some of these, he doesn't even have the cap on. It's purple. It's not purple. Oh, did you do his fangs? Little fangs? You made him have like good teeth. Great hygiene. Yes. <laughs> That's probably how they got away with it because they didn't use the fangs. Maybe. Right. Hank said, going back to the Killer Rabbits movie, when I was in middle school or high school and the weather was crappy outside, there was this TV station that would play crappy movies on the weekend. I would get a bag of chips and watch these movies, all kinds of crappy movies. I remember, um, what was the name of it? Amazing, not amazing stories. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's the worst. I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. And you're of the struggling to what, remember. What is it? The Crypt Keeper. Yeah, what was it called? Mm-hmm. Amazing stories. No, it wasn't amazing stories. Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt. The Crypt Keeper. Right. It was Tales from the Crypt, and there was one called the Killer Toupee, and this thing would find its way to bald men, and they would wear it, and when they wore it, it would kill them. Alec Baldwin. No, the Killer Toupee. What does Alec Baldwin have to do? With I didn't this? say Baldwin. Oh, because you said bald guy. Because I said bald. I said bald men. Oh. Bald men. Um, Lizzie said, I have a new Halloween coaster out. Go check it out. Oh, Elizabeth cool. Hamid, yes, I've seen your coasters. Very cool. Russ Randall said Burgundy. It's kind of a big deal around here. <laughs> We're on. I got I it. I got the reference. <laughs> There's a reference I found. You don't, you don't explain it to me. Whatevs. All right. I am going to flash back to the solo layout view for you while Johnny does even more fine tuning. I'm not sure what he's doing now. I feel like we're just wasting time at this point. What are you putting on the side? Happy birthday. Happy what? What is it supposed to be saying? Jim digs it. So rad, dude, he says. There we go. What does it say on the side? It's happy toys. Hmm. That is cool. There you go. There's your... Uh... Um, I will say that the actual design is going to be darker than what you're seeing on your screen. Do you see how light it looks over here? It's, it has to do with the player problem. Let's try that. Let's see. And then you got the, how's that? No, nope, it still looks lighter over there. It's darker over here. Oh. This is more green. This is more blue. Oh. Anyway, it's going to look super cool when you get it. So um, congratulations to our winner, yeah. Lizzie, for the sticker pack, and Hank for a copy of this print. Again, guys, head on over to Uh The print will be available. Go to the regular shot. Tonight or tomorrow. What's up? Go to the regular shot of us. I am. There it is. Oh, so you're gonna hold it up. Mm. There you go. Can you see it? Nope. You can't. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> we tried. We tried. All right, guys. Um, Lizzie said awesome job. Tracy Corpo said you guys rock. Awesome job. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Another Monday night in the books. In the books. 
We sure had fun uh, hanging out with you guys. Don't forget yeah. to head over to johnnyjalopy.com for all your cool gear, <laughs> hats, yeah. stickers. We've got beanies. We've got satchels. We've got sacks. We got it all. One stop shop right. of fun. We sure appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Bye, what guys. a sign off. <laughs> Stay sketchy. We love you. We'll see you later. Bye. Peace. So the color's not as vibrant. Too much is